Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. Stay tuned till the end of the video and I'm gonna talk about this tank top that I'm wearing, okay? But first I wanna make sure everybody gets this news because the economy is slowing down. It's starting to show signs and we need to be paying attention, okay? Uh, we can start with the paper mills. Yep. This, this is gonna coincide with uh, the community member that actually works at one of these manufacturing uh, facilities that he's involved with the shipping. Mm -hmm. I cannot remember exactly what it was, but I wanna say they used to load 15 to 20 trucks in one day and now they're doing like three to five. It's fallen way off there, it's fallen way off here. And I actually just sent my, a friend of mine that works at a paper mill a text and he hasn't got back with me yet, but I'm, I don't know how far it's fallen off, but I know it has. U.S. paper mills are, <clears throat> are scaling back production as big box retailers buy less cardboard. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, the journey through the supply chain is all has to do with the cardboard that it's in. When you can purchase a product, it has to go in paper, cardboard paper. Uh, the paper in industry is a key indicator. The U.S. corrugated products industry is reporting slumping sales. Shipments of empty boxes in March are down 11%. Kyle Reisinger said, manufacturing is down because inflation is curbing consumer spending, hurting demand. Mm -hmm. When things are good and everything is running solidly, the mills are running at about 90 to 92%. They're about 70% capacity right now. So the packaging world is the front door of noticing anything in the economy. Yep. You know, whether it's doing good, about normal, or starting to fall off. It is definitely starting to fall off. This is the same thing that's going on in the pallet industry. Well, when you see these reports like this, you just kind of need to pay attention and go, all right, this is just something that they're saying it's down. So when that's down, that's a trickle-down effect that's going to start affecting. Well, we'll go on to the next thing where you're talking about. So when you start seeing that type of production going down, it's going to start hitting stores. And when it's going to start hitting stores, it's going to start hitting all the consumers. You're going to have less products. Less goods and services, yep. and your quality of life will be a little less. Everything's going to be less. Now, <clears throat> this is a little bit of bad news, a little more bad news, but this is the news. A line of retail executives from Home Depot Incorporated, Target Incorporated, and Costco have recently intoned on the reluctant shopper consumer confidence is that it's six month low. I wanna just interrupt you right there. So I kinda <clears> went and was looking at that just a little bit. And they said after the pandemic era, it, when that all happened and you, everybody got back out, they were allowed to spend, they were allowed to go out in the stores. There was just this huge uptick. Even when we were shut down, there was all this online spending. They had all this stimulus checks. They had all this stuff available. They were doing home improvements. They were doing online shopping. I mean, Amazon couldn't keep up at that point. Remember they were even saying at one point if you had Christmas deliveries that you had yeah, to have that, it so it far It still out. hasn't recovered. Something happened then. They got behind on shipping and it got a little better, but now it's starting to fall off again. Have you noticed that? Anyway. It, it is. But anyway, so now all of a sudden we're seeing this and they're saying, okay, now we're seeing reverse. The consumers are not spending like they used to. And what they're spending on is way different. So keep going. Now that goes with this. This is part of the article. Half of Americans say they are switching to cheaper brands to save money. Half of Americans mm -hmm. are switching to cheaper brands. The dollar stores cut their earning outlooks, anticipating cha a challenging year. If the dollar stores are a barometer for recession, the economy seems to be far to, seems to be far from one. Well, look, what and what he's saying is, in that last sentence, if dollar stores are a barometer for recession, the economy is far from one. You know, the economy's supposed to be doing great, and. It, when it starts to turn down, dollar, stu dollar stores do really good, you know? <clears throat> Walmart does good. And it's funny, I used to have a buddy, <clears throat> or still, a good friend of mine works at Walmart, <clears throat> and I, can't, I got a frog in my throat, I won't leave. <laughs> Maybe you got that flint stuff that going around. New York smoke coming down here. <laughs> um, he said Walmart was not worried about Kmart. Or Kroger. Or, you know, 
they're not worried about other big box stores. They were worried about the dollar stores. Mm -hmm. And I always thought that was strange. You know, they'd been there a long time and they knew a lot about it. So th this, is, this is an odd situation where we got the economy doing good. Uh, the dollar stores are even starting to buy food and stuff. They're starting to get into the grocery part more than it used to be just trinkets and such. Well, so typically they said if you look back in history, and you can, there's a chart that it's actually provided in one of these articles. Every time Target, Home Depot, the big box stores took a hit, all these general dollar, dollar stores, five above, all these did really, really well. Well, the interesting twist on this is they're not doing so well. I think Dollar General is down like 38%. Um, I think uh, at everything, our Dollar General's down. Um, now, I did notice do the Dollar Tree, not Dollar Tree, everything's a dollar instead of everything being a dollar. Because of inflation, if you walk in now, things are not everything a dollar. It's a dollar fifty. Dollar twenty five store. Dollar twenty five. Yeah, it is. It's it's uptick. So everything has changed. It's gonna go but up with inflation. It'll be the five dollar store in a few years. It may be. But they just said that was a little interesting twist that they were not expecting. Matter of fact is that if you're not I'd go ahead and read it if you don't mind, I'd like go to ahead. read it. The Dollar General CEO Jeff Owens said this month, and quote, he said, such shoppers are relying more on food banks savings and credit cards. They're ex it's expected to remain this, pre this way under the pressure for this foreseeable future. So you guys, we have said this over and over that people are dipping into their savings, their credit cards, and that is what's happening. There are even, they said even high-end people that typically um, shop at like Trader Joe's and different places like that are opting to go to Walmart. Walmart has even come out and said they're cutting some of their high-end items, frivolous items, different yeah. things like that. Dollar General has come out and said they're, they're cutting the toys, the house goods, things that are like just tri frivolous stuff. They're focusing on groceries. They're focusing on things like that. And I, that we just had a Dollar General built right down the road from us. Mm -hmm. And while I walked in, and I was shocked at the amount <coughs> of groceries that they had, well, put in this particular General Dollar. I'm used to more trinkets, home goods, decorations. Yeah, it's a grocery store. It's a small it's, grocery it is. store. That's what Walmart was scared of. Yeah. So, small, they're like little small Walmarts. They're really, it's really nice too. And interesting enough, <clears throat> it seems like these Dollar Generals have been expanding a whole lot into these smaller towns of populations about 20,000 or less. I was reading about that. So I want everybody to think through that. What does that mean when food banks are in direct competition with the dollar store? Hmm. Think that it's kind of a thought project. Please put that in the comments what you think I'm, you know, what I'm trying to get people to think through and what do you think as the problem gets worse is going to happen. All right, let's move on. Insta brands. The Instapot pressure cooker and Pyrex glassware filed for bankruptcy. I didn't see that coming, um, but at the same time when Stacy was telling me the story, it is so hard to produce anything. It's so hard to bring something to the market and sell it because the margins are so small. I've been there, I've done it, I wouldn't do it ever again. <laughs> but uh, that's we're starting to see these major brands. Instapots are awesome. I cook in one all the time. We use one daily. We do. Yeah, if you don't have one, get one. Looks like they're going away. Uh, Pyrex glassware, that's my favorite. But I guess it's high end. Well, Pyrex, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Pyrex, Pyrex used to be just made in the United States. And I believe that's correct because my mom always told me, taught me, get Pyrex, get Pyrex. But from what I understand, in the last couple of years, they've outsourced it more and more to China. Um, but I, I didn't actually research that, so that's just kind of off the cuff of my head. But it used to be a huge, but they're filing Chapter 11, so they're not going under. From what I understand, they're just going to try to, you know, get some money, finance it, get some of their debts off the books, and try to keep going. So we'll see. Well, I want to read a quote from them. They said, after successfully navigating the COVID-19 pandemic and the global supply chain crisis, we continue to face additional global macroeconomic and geopolitical mm -hmm. challenges that have affected our business. So that was from the company's chief executive officer. Yep. So... You know, they, able, they were able to make it through. I guess all the stimuluses pushed them through. You know, they, they did the okay. PPPs, SBA All loans. the stuff that the government threw out. But now, when we're getting a little bit closer to reality, 
they're, they go under like that. You're going to start seeing more of these. As we get closer and things get just a little bit worse, you're going to see more businesses. We're just seeing a few right at the front, the really, really weak hands. We're going to start seeing some semi-weak hands start to fold, and there's several more of those. And sometimes I think we're going to might see, it's going to get a little worse before it gets any better, but just notice how things collapse at certain times. Well, we've been tracking bankruptcy since the first of the year, and we've mentioned it several times on some of these videos. And I've put articles out showing where you can track it online. You can go to different websites, and you can see, oh, this month, this many bankruptcies were filed. What they were filed, either it was Chapter 7 or Chapter 11. You can, you can monitor that. And that's kind of what I keep my eye on. This is just Chapter 11, so hopefully they'll still exist. But you also, we've talked about the layoffs, you guys. You can go to these different sites. Forbes has a great site. There's a few other ones that every month you can see these different companies that are coming out and saying, and we just have more right now. The Grubhub, they're getting ready to lay off more. Um, I think it was ZipRecruiter getting ready to lay off more. There was another one already just in the first couple weeks of June. They're already, there's more layoffs that they have already come out and publicly and said that we're going to do 400, 4,000 this. We're going to do 100 this. 15% layoff in this, and we can just go on down the road. There's stat after stat that we can give you, but you can get online. That's what I do. I get online, we try to about once a week, and we say, okay, what are the bankruptcies coming up? What are the layoffs coming up? Um, and that's kind of how we gauge. And we've even looked at companies before and said, yep, is that a good to invest in if it's going through Chapter 11? Or if it's Chapter 7, get out of it. So. And I'm on the fence about investing in anything right now. I think holding cash would be really the best thing to do uh, just you know thinking through it all the time because I would love to deploy some cash it just doesn't seem like the right time uh, I've been trying to learn how to short the market <laughs> you know so guys okay um, well, what about the tank top okay yeah so the tank top is going to go with another story we made a simple post about um some items we might, the people, merch people wanted, t-shirts and well, it was hats. A question. And it was a question. It was a community yeah, post. A and I got a lot of, um, I don't mind the negative comments like, hey, don't do that. You know, I'm not interested. That's, that's what I was looking for. But I had some people say they did not trust us anymore. Okay. So I kind of had to think about that for a while. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because people have been lied to and manipulated mm -hmm. so much that they're, they're just really quick to jump. Now, if you think that about me, I, I encourage you to go. Just There is plenty of other platforms to go to, and I, I, you're not part of this community um, if, you, you know, if you think like that. A question, we gotta be able to ask questions and, and yep. receive answers and think through them. And it actually helps us. And there was a lot of positive comments too, but th it was just a, a you know a question, and you really got to see people kind of flare up. Ah, they're scared you're going to make some money. And if you're scared somebody's going to make money, ask yourself: Do you, when you go to work, do they pay you, or do you just go for free? You know, you know that's you know think through that. You got to make money in everything you do. Time is your most valuable asset. So, you know, you're you're you got something to work through. Well, we just wanted to know if you were interested because we've had so many people call us and we've tried to find places to make the fringe hat, yeah, the, the fringe awesome, the awesome <laughs> coffee mug. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't get just, it. I don't really buy merch well, either, hold, ever. Hold on just a second. Just, just producing one or two at a time was super expensive and we tried that and we sent that to you guys and we're like, okay, well, if you're really interested, then I will put the time and the money and the effort into creating something. But if it's just one or two people, it's not worth my effort and my time because as Chris said, yeah. time is money. So that was the reason for the poll. But thank you guys for all the response. It kind of yeah. helped guide me in the direction that we want to go. So I really appreciate it. Yeah, and if you don't trust us anymore, then well, <laughs> sorry, take a hike. <laughs> All right, now, about the tank top. I asked Stacy before I came out here, I said, do I need to change shirts? Because it's important to me not to offend anybody by the way I look and, um, or, you know, be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. But it's also important for me to be exactly who I am. Yep, and, and he this, is. And this is it. And I don't want to have to change to be in front of you guys. Yep. So uh, if it offends you, or you have some type of insecurity, you know, it happens a lot. And um, just 
do your best with it. You know, I'll help you any way I can. I've actually uh, made a channel. I'm not trying to push it on this channel. But uh, to try to help people, I'm trying to keep it small and help people get through it. If you're interested, you could leave something in the comments and I'll point you in that direction. I'm not spending a lot of time over there, but <clears throat> that's just something I wanted to put out there. I'm, I'm going to be uh, well, really me. I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you because I've actually fallen off the wagon for about the past year and a half. I've been working about 10, 12 hour days, and he knows that. I've been sitting behind a computer, and I've, well, I've, we went this past weekend, and, and I was not very happy with how I looked, and so I am going to get back on it also. So I challenge you guys, if you're not happy with the way you look, he lives it. He lives it every day. Follow him. See what he does. Yeah. So, all right. Thanks. Well, it happens to all of us. Happened to me, too. I just happened to figure out all the hacks around it and make it easier. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, guys, have an awesome, awesome day, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Later.